guess what? The newest Sims kits, they leaked again. I don't know if the Sims team has ever successfully announced kits without them leaking first, but they just posted announcing the two newest kits and they unfortunately already leaked yesterday morning. This time it wasn't even really their fault. I'm not 100% sure what happened, but it sounds like a creator leaked them, which is a complete accident and nobody's fault. Sometimes some people find out about things early. In this case, I didn't know there were kits coming. So I don't know who did or how they did, but it, it leaked by accident. And we did know there were a couple of kits coming soon-ish because they had teased them in that quarterly teaser announcement a little bit ago. We just didn't know what they were gonna be or when they were gonna be. So today I wanna walk you through that kit announcement and also talk a little bit about the SD extra from last week. I didn't get a chance to make a video on that last Tuesday because my cat had surgery that day. She's actually sleeping right there behind me. She's doing a lot better. I have some updates on her too that I'll end the video with, but I think we should start with the free stuff because that's probably the most fun part about this. New Sims content is always fun, but it's more fun when you don't have to pay $10 for it. And you can see here on the homepage kind of a teaser of what they're talking about. Last week in that SDX drop, they added a ton of new swatches to two base game hairs. So you've probably seen this before because we did already have this hair style. They just added a second version of it now. So if you scroll down a bit farther, you'll see it. And it is really beautiful. We have some new bright colors like hair dye inside of this now. This was done as part of a collab between Ebonics, who is a Sims creator, and also a brand called Dark and Lovely. And Dark and Lovely is a real life beauty brand that makes a whole bunch of hair products for black women. And this I think is a really cool collab opportunity. I always like when they collaborate with real brands that are like experts in their field. And beyond that, to collaborate with Simmers who are experts in their field. A lot of you probably know Ebonics already because she's like a legend in the Sims community. The Sims posted a blog post about this, so I'll link this down below in case you wanna go through and read some more about it. But basically they collab with Ebonics and Dark and Lovely to create this new play in color campaign. And this is not the first time that Ebonics has worked really closely with the Sims on adding things to improve representation in the game. So Danielle Ebonics has worked directly with them a lot in the past for updates like this, but she's also a fantastic CC creator. I'm gonna link all of her stuff down below because I'm not kidding when I say she is a legend, okay? But she first started making CC because she realized there wasn't a lot of black hairstyles in the game, so she taught herself to make her own. I'm gonna link all of Ebonics' stuff down below, her website, but also the collection that she did as a collab this week with Dark and Lovely because this is just unbelievable. Like these hairs are all stunning. So if you want to download these, I'll have them linked for you. But that's just kind of an introduction into Ebonics and how amazing she is. So it's really cool that they collab with her to do this SDX drop. Obviously we got this new hairstyle, but they also added this one as well. And we did have this hair before too. There's like a solid color version of this hair as well, if I can find it. It's kind of weird how they aren't next to each other. <laughs> there it is. So we've had this one for a while too, this solid color swatch, but in the SDX drop, they added a recolor of it. So we have some more variants. And this just looks so beautiful. I really like the blue version of it. And this purple is one of my favorite colors, but I'll show you all of these swatches really quickly, just so you can kind of see how they all look. So in total, it wasn't a huge SDX drop. It was just these two hairstyles and they aren't brand new hairstyles. They're just recolors of older hairstyles, but that's not the only thing in their collab. It's like phase one because we just got the recolors. And now in July, we're going to get this new locks hairstyle. So this will also be in a free content drop just a couple months from now. And it looks like we'll be getting two variants of this, like the standard Sims colors plus extra, kind of like these other two hairstyles are. So that's kind of cool. One slightly weird thing, and I maybe am just missing it, but I don't think they did the recolors for children. But then, strangely, the recolors are available for toddlers. So I don't know if that's me scrolling past it or if it's like actually not there, <laughs> but the toddlers did get the recolor as well, but not kids. So I don't really know why that is. Maybe it's an oversight and it was an accident, but for some reason toddlers and then teens and above all got the recolor, but kids didn't. But that is unfortunately all of the free stuff we're getting this week. We did also get those kit announcements though, so I want to show you those too. I find it very interesting that they always drop two kits at once like this. I don't really understand it. I guess it's not a bad thing, but typically they'll do one build kit and one cast kit, both coming out on the same day. And in this case, we're getting the Party Essentials Kit and the Urban Homage Kit. So the tweet says, from the streets of London to Willow Creek, flaunt at Ebonics' classic collection of nostalgic fashion trends with the collaborative The Sims 4 
4 Urban Homage Kit, or dazzle and delight with playful party props in the new The Sims 4 Party Essentials Kit. So I'm not gonna lie, when I saw the kit leak yesterday, I kind of tried to avert my eyes because I don't love to get spoilers, and I don't really like to talk about leaks because I kind of want to wait for official announcements because I get more pictures and more information. But when I saw the kit leak and I knew it was gonna be a collab, I was like, oh, I really hope it's with Ivonix because I knew she had just done the update, so I was like, oh, it would be perfect timing to have it all come out at once, and thankfully, it is with her. So here's the full screen version of this little teaser they posted, and if we scroll down a little bit, we can get some more information. So it says, strut boldly as the ultimate virtual style icon with Ebonix's The Sims 4 Urban Homage Kit. Dress your sim from head to toe in unapologetic pieces inspired by a time and place near and dear to Ebonix. And here's a couple of the screenshots. So this is the one that leaked that I was like, don't look, Kayla, don't look. <laughs> but now I can actually look at the whole thing. The first thing I'm seeing is this butterfly top, which is just unbelievable. I think that is so cute. And like it paired with the skirt and the little shoes. I'm obsessed with that. This Sims entire look with like the matching set and the hair wrap and her jewelry. It looks like we're getting new earrings and new piercings. And I can see a new set of rings as well. It's kind of hard to tell because it's small in the mirror, but I think this Sim is also wearing a new necklace. And then in that other screenshot, we can see some more things and some more swatches. We've got a couple cute matching sets, like this denim jacket with the matching jeans. We have some new boots. I really like the purple on this set. I can't really tell because it's like his hand is facing away. Way, but I think that might be a new watch and that might be a new ring. It's just small, so I can't see it. <laughs> we can see the necklace a little bit more up close right here. I am obsessed with the color and the pattern on this top. I think that is so cute. We can also see a couple new pairs of pants and a couple new shirts on the masculine frame sims. And they posted a blog post explaining a few more of these things. So they're calling it London City inspired fashion, which is where Ebonics is from. 90s vibes and vibrant motifs. And it says dress to impress with the Sims 4 urban homage kit created in collaboration with multi-award winning gaming content creator. I honestly, you guys, I am so obsessed with Ebonics. I just am so inspired by her. I think she's so cool. It makes me really happy to see things like this happening in The Sims and to see The Sims highlighting people like this and to work so closely with them because this is what The Sims needs. The Sims needs more representation and like direct representation inspired by actual players, right? And every time they've done collab kits, they have just knocked it out of the park. So I'm really excited about this one. Turn heads and make your Sims stand out as the ultimate version virtual style icon with looks that offer a fresh take on the nostalgic London city inspired 90s and naughties, <laughs> which is like 2000 to 2009, inspired fashion trends with lively patterns with vibrant graffiti motifs and eye-catching accessories. They're striking ensembles with statement pieces such as iconic overalls, butterfly tops. Oh, all the things are there, spoilers. Do I wanna see that or not? I don't know if I wanna see them all yet. If I look now, I'll forget right? I'll, I'll think I'll look. <laughs> anyway, eye-catching layer jewelry, glamorous new nails. Okay, I was wondering if there were new nails on here. It's just hard to tell because the picture is so small. I can't see their fingernails that closely. So Danielle said, when I came up with Urban Homage, the pitch to Maxis was paying homage to the 80s, 90s, and 2000s. The kit is inspired by the urban chic culture, which highlights the innovation, diversity, and vibrancy that City Life fosters, which I very much embrace as part of my everyday wares. I wanted to bring to life some timeless pieces that tap into eras that we draw inspiration from and are still the blueprint of fashion innovation to this day, with a variety of outfits that are dynamic and vibrant, traditional and contemporary, and rich with cultural trends. Oh my gosh, the numbers on the basketball shorts are the birthdays of her mom, dad, best friend, goddaughter, and her own! That's so cute! That is a really pretty personal touch. I love that they did that. That's so cool. So we can see all of the items here. This is just so fun. First of all, I don't know why their screenshot is like kind of low quality. You'd think they'd have a better screenshot for the, the blog post, but <laughs> it's okay. So it looks like there's 29 items in this kit, which is really on par with all the other fashion kits. And I can't really tell what these things are from these tiny screenshots. <laughs> I like everything I've seen so far. I think the butterfly top is really speaking to me. I'm really excited about that. I'm just, I'm so proud. This is so cool to see them doing. I'm so excited about this. But then of course the other kit is a build kit and it's a party inspired kit. And on Twitter this one says, build the perfect party for any occasion with customizable mood matching decor in the Sims 4 party essentials kit. From hangouts to birthday parties, make memorable Simstagram posts pop with all the essentials, including a disco ball and a fog machine. And these are the screenshots they're showing us. The disco ball is kind of iconic, I gotta be honest. I'm really intrigued by that. Mostly it looks like party decorations. I'm seeing a new bar. I am obsessed 
with this new record player table. That is so cool. I think I'm gonna use this all the time. Most of the items in this game that are like radios are just, they're really big. They're about this size, but they're kind of hard to fit in. And this is just so realistic. Like this makes perfect sense. So many people have furniture like this. Record players are so in right now. Like I really, really like this item. Otherwise I'm seeing a lot of things like this little speaker. There's like some streamers in the ceiling, lots of wall decor, freezer bunny, LED lights. <laughs> I don't know what these are, like balloons with lights around them. There's some little clutter things. Like this looks like it might be a drink set. There's a cake stand that's kind of cool. We don't have anything like that yet. A little sign in the back. In the other screenshot, this one has a way bigger setup of wall stuff. It looks like a selfie wall, <laughs> like with the balloons and all the picture things. We can see that drink setup a little bit closer here. This must be the fog machine. And I'm wondering if all of these confetti pieces on the floor, is that like a rug? Or is it from the confetti? Is it like projected? This looks like a light projector, but I think that's what the little star there is. So I'm not really sure what everything is. I'm seeing more streamers here, more balloons, more things on the ceiling, disco ball again. And I, I do like all of the ideas of this stuff. It's just kind of weird to me. Like I never really thought that I needed this. <laughs> Um, it says, celebrate with flair. Amp up your festivities and make your epic parties unforgettable with the Sims 4 Party Essentials Kit. Whether your Sim is hosting a lavish land grab luncheon or a raving rager for the roomies, the Party Essentials Kit has everything you need to make your next celebration the talk of the town. So we've got playful party props, including eye-catching streamers, an entrancing fog machine, and a versatile bar that can stick around after the party. We have a new mesmerizing disco ball. Form your group and let the good times roll in style. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and these are all the items. So it's got 27 new things. I'm seeing a handful of new lights, some new posters and some new clutter. I, here's the thing. I'm not really that enticed by this kit. I think normally build kits get me a little more excited than this. With this one, I'm like, okay, whatever. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm not mad about it because I do like the idea of more party decor. I feel like I struggle a lot to decorate for like birthday parties, for example. So it's nice to have some more things like this, but I typically, want stuff that's more versatile and this is serving a very specific purpose and it seems like the kind of thing that most people probably won't buy. Like if you don't have this, you'll be fine. <laughs> it's nice to have, but you don't need this, you know? I'll have to see more once I've actually played with it because so far I think the bar, the record player, and the cake stand are most interesting to me. I'm wondering if it even works on the cake stand. Like if you put the cake stand there, can they still blow out the candles on that or does it not work right? Because there's so picky about where the cake is placed. I'm sure they fixed it so that it's fine, but I don't know. I just get nervous. <laughs> oh, and the disco ball is cool, I guess. So that's true. I'll be excited about the disco ball, but it's just kind of fine. This kit just seems fine to me. This might be the first time ever that I've been more excited about the cast kit than the build kit, because you know, I am very much a build player. I like seeing cast kits. I like seeing stuff like this, but because I spend most of my time building, I'm usually more interested in new build items than new clothing, but I'm, I don't know. This one's just fine. I love the idea of this cast kit though, but I'm I'm kind of like meh about the build one. It'll be interesting to see it in game and, and kind of see how it goes. I feel like some of these things could be nice in like a teen's bedroom and it will be nice for events. I have seen some people online being like, oh my God, it's my second luxury party stuff <laughs> and making jokes like that. It does feel kind of annoying to get a second party pack, but what I will say is just based on this alone, this has more party items than luxury party does, first of all. I will literally go and show you because luxury party Party is such a ridiculous pack. Luxury Party has the benefit of coming with some cast stuff, but in build mode, this is all it gets. You cannot host a party with this furniture. There's a glow cube. This whole pack is stupid and useless. This kit is better than Luxury Party already. <laughs> so never buy Luxury Party. If you're gonna get a party pack, get this one. I haven't even seen it yet, but I'm already telling you that. And this is kind of a different vibe of party stuff. Like this is more like fun. It could be like kids party with the balloons and things. And Luxury Party is more like nightclub party, but with a touch of wedding a little bit. It's very strange. And it sounds like both of these kits are gonna be coming out on April 18th. So we have just about a week to wait. I'm really curious to know your thoughts on these kits. Are you interested in these? Are they boring to you? I would love to know what you're thinking. I will of course make a full review on both of these kits once they release next week. So we'll kind of walk through everything and see if it's worth buying. You can make a slight judgment call based on this announcement, but it's hard to say without actually seeing it in game, you know? Cause then we kind of get the full picture of all the swatches and how the stuff works. So we'll hold off to make any final calls and make sure you're subscribed
subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any of that. And also make sure you check out all of Ebonics' stuff down below. I'm gonna put a million links for you. And before I go, I have a tiny life update. First of all, I'm about to leave to go to a tasting for my wedding caterer. So this video might be up kind of late and for that, I apologize. But the bigger life update is about my cat, Snap. As we all know, cause I keep going on and on about it. She had surgery last Tuesday. She had to remove a cancerous mass in her leg. It was kind of like on her back hip almost. And they got the pathology results back today from the mass they sent off for further testing. So when they do these surgeries, they try and take really wide margins to make sure they're getting all of the cancer out. And the results came back and we did get clean margins. So the surgery worked, they got all of it, but it's only one and a half millimeters away. So it's very small margins. Still good because we got it all, but it is kind of cutting it close. So they're kind of worried about maybe it coming back in the future. It didn't touch any vascular tissue. So they're not worried about it spreading and it didn't spread any further than that. They like checked her lymph nodes and stuff and she's all good there. So truthfully, this was like the best outcome we could have gotten. This was like the best results, best case scenario. If you're gonna have a cancerous tumor on your leg, this is like the best way it could have gone for us. So that's a huge relief. She's been doing a lot better today. The past couple of days have been a lot better. The first few days were rough for her, but she's definitely been improving. She was even playing a little bit last night for the first time. So that's a good sign that she's feeling a little bit better. She still has to have the cone on for a full week. She gets it taken off next Tuesday when her stitches come out. And the vet was talking to me a little bit about putting me in contact with an oncologist, maybe to do radiation. She said it's not necessary, but maybe worth looking into. So I don't know. My head's kind of spinning about that. I haven't really thought about it that much. She like literally just called. I'm going to talk to them more about it when I'm there next week on Tuesday. So I'll let you know how that goes. But basically things are looking as good as they could. So yay, that's a relief. That's good news. And with that, I am going to end this video right here. So thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts on the kits down below and I'm going to catch you all tomorrow. Okay. Bye everybody. I'm really sorry if the video is up super late. It's not my fault that they posted an announcement on Wednesdays. They never do that. I always assume Wednesdays are a safe day for me to make plans. <laughs>